It's here, it's here, it's here, the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. So let's get started with the unboxing and first look. On time for Christmas, the X90 Pro Plus by Vivo arrived here at my doorstep and I want to unbox it, take a look at the device, around the device you can see there's already the foil that is uh, coming loose and already says please open me carefully. So yeah, of course we will do this. So let's get you opened up. And we see already on first glance that we have a very nice texture on this packaging. So you can see that we have a little bit of, yeah, a fake leather tex texture that feels like fake leather. And I think and I hope that it f will feel the same on the smartphone bag as well. So Vivo branding here around the device. You can see we have the Vivo Vivo X90 Pro Plus, the 12 to and 256 gigabyte version. And yes, it's the red model that I have here. So let's uh, get this thing open up. And there we go. There we have the phone itself that you can see here. And we have uh, size imaging beyond imagination here written as well in Chinese and uh, yeah this is the red version as you can see here and uh, yeah you can probably see also the email numbers so that's bad but I will uh, hide them blur them out and uh, so that you don't have to see them and uh, then let's open this up and let's check out what we have here uh, we have some instruction manual here some booklet that tells you about uh, a quick start guide basically and uh, then we have a nice case here with the vivo branding size branding and uh, there we can see extreme imagination uh, written on this uh, yeah, silver lining here very nice texture reminds me of the same texture material that you can see here so they're using the same kind of material and uh, yeah nice um, hard case I would say very fine very cool that they sent this with them then we have a flash charger here that can charge with I think it is 80 watts yeah there we can see it 80 watts charger Chinese or US plug and uh, it's a USB type C charger so that the cable that we have here is a bit of a thicker one because 80 watts and it is also a USB C to C USB C to C uh, cable of course and uh, then we have also a SIM eject tool formed uh, like a heart which is also pretty interesting uh, no, yeah, only if you have it inside otherwise nope it's a normal SIM eject tool but yeah, very interesting that we have this. And I think this is everything in the box. There's no like uh, headphones or something like this. But nevertheless, I'm pretty uh, excited about the phone and I want to uh, get rid of the plastic. So what we can do is like open it up. I think we can open it up like this. Very interesting, never saw it opening up like that. But yeah, then we can get rid of this and we can see the wonderful red color of the vivo x90 pro plus vivo branding the same extreme imagination branding size branding we can also see here uh, size vario tessa and then something that i cannot read really um, but the lens setup as well led flash free led flashes the three and a half times uh, magnification telezoom camera we have the main one inch sensor i think it is ultra wide angle and i think another sensor for telezoom which is like two times portrait lens and the t-star coating that you can see there as well as a microphone hole uh, which is also pretty nice then here we have also uh, the professional photography branding microphone hole and then on the bottom 
we have the hybrid, no, it is a dual nano SIM slot, USB-C 3.2, I think, or 3.1, at least 3, which is nice. So quick uh, data transfers, a uh, speaker. I think the other speaker, the other loudspeaker is here on the front. Then we have a protection foil, so screen protector on it. We have the power button as well as the volume rocker. You can see they are a little bit uh, in on an island, basically, or a little dim there where it's going down a little bit. So yeah, that they're not completely flush to the body, but uh, you can definitely feel them but they're also not sticking out too much, which is nice. The camera bump yeah, is massive, but reminds me a bit of the one that I have here on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So you can see it is basically from the thickness the same, has to be the same, it's the same sensor there. And I think they're using also a very similar lens. And yeah, that's the Vivo X90 Pro Plus in all its glory. And a Snapdragon HN2, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal space. Sadly, you cannot extend this internal space. 50 megapixel, one inch type sensor, I'm Sony IMX 989. And then we have a three and a half times this is telezoom lens, a two times telezoom lens. And we have, I think, a very wide, I think 13 or 16 millimeter wide angle lens. And of course, I will do a camera comparison with other phones like the 12S Ultra and uh, more but let's first turn this device on to see if it has any juice and with what operating system it comes and while it's turning off i think i can try out the case turning off turning on of course so let's put the case on you can see the case is a good complement for the device itself. It doesn't change much of the device's output. I think only the Vivo logo looks a bit different on the device itself. Let's get it off. Can I get it off? Yeah, I can get it off there, you can see. So I think the color is almost the same. It is the same, actually. Just the Vivo logo is different. So yeah, it's a very nice case. It complements the device. It's turned on already. You can see that the case is protecting a little bit here, the lip, the screen. We have a screen protector, of course. The sides are a bit raised up, which is nice. The camera bump is, of course, protected so that it will not slide around, but it's like a very slight protection, as you can see here, so I don't scratch the glass so much. The sides are nice and open, so you can feel the device. It reminds me a bit of the yeah um, other devices that I have here that have a very similar kind of protection. I don't have it here right now. The 12, uh, the, the Honor uh, Magic 4 Ultimate, for example, has also a very similar kind of protection here. Yeah, let's turn the device on. We come here with uh, Origin OS. I think it's Origin OS in the version 13. Uh, as you can see here, already set to German language because I'm living in Germany. So uh, probably trading Shenzhen. Thank you for this device. They uh, did already do some configuration. You can see we have a new version available of Origin Orange, Orange OS 3. Actually, that is running here on the Vivo um, X90 Pro Plus. And I think I will install it now. And uh, then I will check out the device and of course, Take a first glance at the camera. One of the specialties of the Vivo X90 Pro Plus is the fingerprint scanner, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, which allows you to just hold your finger once and then you have a success to unlock the device. That's everything. So if I lock the device, I want to unlock the device or oh, everything I have to do is just like press once here and it's unlocking. It's a very, very quick way. I have my other finger also scanned in. Very quick way to unlock your device. And as the area is so large, I can even hit here and it still unlocks the device. So very, very cool unlocking feature. And of course you have also face unlock here that is using 2D face unlock, but still the possibility to unlock the device directly. And I can add a face and that's it. So you can see it's a 2D face unlock and uh, stay on lock screen after unlocked is uh, ticked by default. You can change it if you want to. You can uh, check raise to wake and screen fill light if you need it, if you want to unlock your device with your face in the dark. 
Let's talk about the operating system a little bit. So we have Origin OS here. As you can see, if I swipe down, we have a search uh, bar here. And by the way, you can change this as well, like swipe down on the home screen can also be notification center or control center. So I have notification center now active. So if I go in here and just swipe down, it will show me my notifications and I can go to my control center as well. So we have a split control center and notifications here. We have several like items here that show me the time, the weather in my location, some album highlights. In this case, I didn't take any photos. We have also large folders where we can yeah, see different items here, like an email client. We have feedback, a translator, a log, file manager, of course, it's the Vivo. Vivo special file manager the same goes for the calculator and so on we also have a remote so i think there is some kind of infrared blaster here on the top that can be used as well there we can see it the second the bigger hole for uh, yeah, playing or emulating a remote we have several applications here that are vivo specific like themes video jovi live jovi is the voice assistant as well a game center a reader app for, for books to read. You can see this is mostly in Chinese and it allows you to access, for example, books in China. If you want to read some Chinese books and learn Chinese, uh, definitely something interesting. Um, we have some free samples there as well. The same goes for the music application, iMusic it's called, where you can also, I think there's a song already in here that you can hear shortly, I think, for a short second. Test the speakers. Yeah, very loud speakers, very good speakers, I would say, good bass as well. So um, it also allows you to download some songs and uh, yeah, we have the same for the video option there we have the v app store which is like the chinese app store what they or what vivo is shipping on the chinese software but thanks to trading Shenzhen, they also installed the play store here we have safety net that it should pass as well uh, google safety net it's passing this as well without any issues we have the google play store here so i can install all the applications from google and we have DRM info that gives us the information that we have. Whitewine level one support here. And that means also Netflix can play in full HD here, though we don't have any HDR possibilities here uh, with Netflix, but also Disney Plus and uh, Prime Video and so on will work fine. The cool thing is the user interface you can see if you swipe down has this iOS kind of style, but the cool thing is I can reach everything with one hand here. Uh, which is pretty cool so we have a large area that is free here because it's usually very hard to reach and only showing us the time is it showing the time what is it what it's showing the download speed actually and the battery percentage and the, some connectivity things actually not the time which is interesting and we have like the wi-fi mobile data here and some other options like focus modes that we have the media player the possibility to to change the brightness of the display and some other options here just like for example we could go and turn on the flashlight which is pretty interesting and nice let's go to settings what i wanted to show you is the space that we are using here by default ram and storage space and you can see we have like 32 gigabytes when i started up without installing the update and all the apps that you saw it's roughly 30 gigabytes that it's like occupying already for the system otherwise this is a very modern samsung e6 display which allows you to have look auto brightness on but allows you to have uh, LTPO technology that can go from 1 hertz to 120 hertz so 120 hertz here we have of course the usual eye protection mode uh, we have a dark mode that I think we can also schedule from sunset to sunrise which is pretty interesting so we have also an auto lag auto lock option which I usually tend to keep for five minutes a portrait orientation lock and yeah the screen resolution as you can see here higher resolution is possible by default it's 1080p stretch but we can also go to uh, the uh, 1440p which is even a higher resolution here 
we have a smart switch option or we can set 60 hertz or 120 hertz here as screen refresh rate the screen gets pretty bright i think 1800 nits peak brightness probably not for so long but still some visual enhancements are possible as well so you can see here that how it will look like enhance the picture if you want to optimize it by default it's turned off and yeah i'll leave it at that for now so this is the first recording with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus and its front-facing camera, 32 megapixels, but sadly only 1080p. And if you want to have it stabilized, only 1080p, 30 frames per second, not even 60 frames per second. So you can record in 60 frames per second as well, though then you don't have this very stable kind of shot. What do you think about the front-facing video here? And now to make it a little bit more Christmassy, uh, I put a hat on and using the one inch main sensor on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. This is 4K 30 frames per second that it's recording here right now. And the cool thing is, yes, I can switch between all the camera lenses. Almost all, I think. Uh, let's go and switch to the ultra wide angle for a second. There we go. That's the ultra wide angle 0.6 time magnification. And is it ultra wide? I think it still looks okay, even if it's dim lit, darkish kind of room. And what about the zoom? Do we have anything to zoom on? I have some headphones there. Let's try to zoom on the, these headphones. I don't have a button to directly go to a specific zoom lens, so I have to do it manually here. One times, this is now two times. I think it should switch to the two times lens. And when I go to the three and a half times there you go it switched again and i can go even further five times and up until i think 10 times zoom yes there we have 10 times zoom. it's grainy of course and i think the dial here is a bit finicky i can do i cannot really go faster than this here when it goes to zooming out and now we are at one times again and yeah, what do you think about this one here? Hopefully it's using the microphone as well. Yeah, I think it should use the external microphone automatically without much of a different um, settings that I have to play around with. What do you think about the first yeah, 4K 30 frames per second video camera test? Anyway, it is a pretty interesting uh, device and my first impressions are very, very nice and positive about the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. I will do some more uh, pictures, definitely camera review, uh, because like I'm very interested in the back facing one inch sensor. How does it compare with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and so much more. So yeah, uh, just Click subscribe and uh, be happy with all the camera comparisons that will happen uh, then in the coming days, probably after Christmas and uh, maybe the new year. That's everything for this short little video about my first impressions with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus and the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye and Merry Christmas.